Isang magandang buhay para sa ating lahat. Now we are going to discuss for the another topic under the mathematical language and symbols that is variables. Okay, so what is variables? It is represented by a letter like X or Y. So kadalasan, yun yung hinahanap natin. Sometimes pwede rin ibang letters kung gusto mo, uh, Z, Y, or A, A N, or A, N, B. So, symbol for a value we don't know yet. Kasi unknown nga siya lagi, di ba? Example, for example, so we, is there a number with the fa following property? So, doubling it and adding 3 gives the same result as squaring it. For example, di ba, itong number na to, Para ito yung it na sinasabi, yung number. Parang ganun. So, ito yan. Is there a number x? Yan, yan. With the property that 2x plus 3 is equal to x squared. So, parang double, double, do, doubling it and adding 3 gives the same result as squaring it. Parang ito yan, di ba? Or is there a number of x with the property that... Hmm, naulit lang siya, kumbaga. <laughs> <laughs> na doble. Ayan. Okay. So, or else, pwede natin palitan to kung anong gusto mong letra na gusto mong gamitin. Di ba? Sometimes, bago gusto mong gamitin Y or A or B, di ba? Depende sa'yo. Okay. Sabi niya, is there a number? Check natin. To illustrate the second use of the variable, consider the statement. No matter what number might be chosen, if it's greater than 2, then its square is greater than 4. Diba? Anong, kahit anong number nga naman. Okay. So, introducing a variable to give a temporary name to the number that you might choose enables you to maintain the generality of the statement. Uh, is there a number x with the property that 2x plus 3 is equal to x squared? So, no matter what number might be chosen, if it's greater than 2, then its square is greater than 4. Yan ang sabi nga yan, no matter what number might be chosen. If x is greater than 2, then x squared is greater than 4. Diba? Writing a sentence using bar variable. So, use variables to write the following sentence more formally. So, check natin ha. Are, are there numbers with the property that some that the sum of their squares equals to the, the, sum, the, the square of their sum. Or, give any real number, its square is non-negative. So, check natin for the A. So, sabi dyan. Check natin. Are there number X and Y with the property of X squared plus Y squared is equal to quantity of X plus Y raised to squared? Oh. Are there numbers X and Y? Kasi kumbaga ni rearrange lang natin yung sentence parang ganon. Such that X squared plus Y squared is equal to quantity of X plus Y plus squared. Diba? Or do there exist any numbers X and Y such that X squared plus Y squared is equal to quantity of X plus Y plus squared? Diba? For letter B Give any real number So R squared is non-negative So for any real numbers that R, R is equal to R squared Is greater than or equal to 0 So dapat ito Hindi ito magle-lessen sa 0 That was malaki pa siya dapat lagi Or for all real number R is R squared Is greater than or equal to 0 Actually there are Ginumamit lang ng ibang statement. Ito, any real, ito ay all real ang ginamit. So, some important kinds of mathematical statements. So, we have universal statement, which is sinasabi yung ginagamit na element is for all. Diba? So, all, all positive numbers are greater than zero. Alam natin yun, diba? Lahat nga naman. <clears throat> are greater than zero. So, pag-conditional statement says if one thing is true, 
then some other thing also has to be true. Yung if and then na tinatawag or ginagamit. For example, if 378 is divisible by 18, alam natin na this is divisible. So if, alam natin this is true. Ngayon, then 378 is divisible by 6. So, ginamit din natin yun then. So, alam natin na ito ay divisible then. It must be true. Kasi nga, matchecheck natin, no? 18, tsaka yung 6, divisible by 1. Yung 18, divisible by 6. Diba? Kaya. So, true yung ating statement. Yung conditional statement natin. Yung existential statement says that there is at least one thing for which the property is true. For example, there is a prime number that is even. Oh, meron nga ba? Ano? Anyone? Uh, tama, that is two. Oh, while for the universal conditional statement. So, a statement that is both universal and conditional. So, this will be a combination of universal and conditional. For a statement, for all animals, A, if a, a is a dog, then A is a mammal. So, they can be written in ways that make them appear to be purely universal or purely conditional. So, dito magagaling sa si statement na to. Ha, ito, yan, yan. So, if A is a dog, then A is a mammal. So, purely conditional, di ba? So, galing doon. Or, if an animal is a dog, then the animal is a mammal. Di ba? Or, for all dogs, A, A is a mammal. Or, all dogs are mammal. So, lahat yan ang sa statement na to. So, for example, if a real number is non-zero, then each square is ano? Yeah. Yan on. Ano yung number one? Yes, tama. It's a positive. Oh, for all non-zero real number is x. Ano sagot? Yeah, you're right. That is x squared is positive. Okay. If x blank, then blank. If x is a non-zero real number, then x squared is positive. Diba? The square of any non-zero real number is positive. Okay. So, lahat yan ang galit sa statement na to. Okay. I hope na nasusundan yung ginagawa natin. So, for the universal existential statements, so, a statement that is universal because its first part says that a certain property is true for all objects of a given type and it is ex uh, existential because its second part asserts the existence of something. For example, every, every real number has an additive inverse. All real numbers have an additive or additive inverse. Have an additive real numbers for all real numbers R. There is an additive inverse for R. Diba? For all real numbers R, there is a real number such as on S, such as S is an ad additive inverse. So yun na ating nagamitin. Okay, next. So for this statement that is existential. Because its first part asserts that a certain object is, exists and is universal because its second part says that the object satisfies a certain property for all things of a certain kind. For example, we have there is a positive integer that is less than or equal to every positive integer. I hope na medyo nasundan yung ating lecture for the variables. So, sa susunod, we're going to discuss for another topic under the uh, mathematical language. So, I hope na hindi nyo. Ciao!